Good morning, good morning, good morning, Machiavelli Mills TV. So I'm watching Evander Holyfield's interview on Vlad TV, and they finally get to the portion where they're talking about the Mike Tyson fight itself, the fight that happened, right, where he stopped Mike. And I look in the comment section, it's nothing but a bunch of butthurt Mike Tyson fanatics who can't accept the fact that Mike Tyson just simply got beat. Right, right, they don't, Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield was mentally stronger than Mike. He had, he was more resilient. He had more will. Uh, he had more grit. He was, he was just tougher all around than Mike, right? And they can't accept the fact that he just outwilled, outlasted, and stopped their guy. So in the comment section, all, all the stuff I'm seeing, he, Evander only won because he was on the juice. He was on steroids. He was on HGH. He was on the juice. That's the only reason he won. The only reason he won. The only reason he won. I'm going to say this. Y'all, this was in the 90s. Do you think uh, Mike Tyson was clean? Do you really think Mike Tyson went his whole career being clean? Bruh, I promise you, you lying to your fucking self. You think Mike Tyson was clean. I don't care what his physique looked like when he was a kid. This was boxing during the 80s and 90s. Drug testing was out the window. They was not testing for drugs. They was not drug testing like that. For real, it really was obsolete. It really was not no drug testing like that. People was taking all type of stuff. Supplements, all type of stuff, getting pumped up with all different type of stuff to make their guy a better guy. Trainers were doing it to these fighters. Sometimes inadvertently, they were just taking stuff that the trainers was having them take. And a lot of times they knew what they was doing, but they wanted their competitive advantage. Do you really think Mike Tyson wasn't on no shit? You out of your mind. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. Mike was on that shit too. Okay? He might not have been on the same type as Evander Holyfield. He might not have been on that list. Mike was taking that shit too, for real. He was. I don't care what nobody say. During that era, and this is how I know what's crazy. Lennox Lewis talked about guys being on steroids throughout boxing. It was prevalent. It was prevalent, man. And down the line, some of the greatest champions, great champions we've seen pop dirty. Roy Jones Jr., the great Roy Jones Jr. I ain't going to throw no disrespect on his name because he's still all-time great. He got popped. And they talk about Evander Holyfield physique. Look at Roy's physique for a long time. Roy popped dirty. Antonio Tarver, if I'm not mistaken, popped dirty too. He did too. So y'all really think Mike Tyson was just clean air? Like, you know, all these other dudes was using steroids, but Mike Tyson was clean. Am I saying Evander Holyfield was clean? No. Do I think he used steroids? Yes. Do I think Mike Tyson used steroids too? Absolutely. Absolutely, bro. Like, for real. It just, it, all them dudes was taking that stuff just for them advantages, man. A lot of them dudes, they wanted it in them big time championship boxing at the peak of that. Man, but them Floyd, the blood testing didn't get super strict until Floyd Mayweather started, in, um, um, until he started, like, uh, getting it done. And he started making it, like, mandatory during his fights. Seriously. Before then, dudes, like, there was championship fights with no drug testing. It was some that had it, but it wasn't consistent. Everybody knows that. And for as... As strong and athletic as Mike Tyson was, he was on that shit too. And I don't know, Tyson fans don't want to believe that he, Mike never would do that. He never would do that. Mike did a lot of off the wall crazy shit in his time. A lot of shit. Cocaine, drug, stuff. You think he wasn't trying to get no advantage too? You think he was just so morally sound he was above that? No disrespect to Mike. Mike was out there just doing all type of crazy immoral shit. I don't think he uh, assaulted that woman, but he was just a wild ass individual. Stuff he was doing, saying, you just really think he the moral compass stopped for Mike and I don't need steroids to beat anybody. What? Out of your fucking mind. He was doing a shit, you know what I mean? And all different type of stuff. So I don't, I don't believe that for a second, but Tyson fans have to cling on to the fact, oh, Evander was on steroids and all of that to to make them believe that's the only reason he beat Mike. He, he just had more guts, more... He just was made a, a different type of shit that Mike de never seen before. He was mentally stronger than Mike. All around. Mike was... And y'all can talk about, oh, he would cut them because he wouldn't would cut the model no more. Listen, man, Mike had a lot of demons in his life before meeting Custom Model. A lot of shit. 
And I think at some point, that was going to rear his ugly head without the necessary counseling that he needed. So a lot of the stuff in him, he, he developed the bully tactic from being, you know, a lot of stuff he went through in his younger, younger years. But with a bully, when you stand up to a bully and you can throw some shit back at them, what, do, what normally happens? They retreat. They try to they try to start they try to stage you off, stave you off, and then they start retreating when they know shit ain't going their way. And they don't know what else to do. They don't know what to resort to outside a crazy tactic like biting you, like Mike Tyson did. You know, in the uh what you call it fight. But, <coughs> excuse me. But yeah, to act like you just the people, I promise you, Mike Tyson for that is give him this super moral compass. Mike would never do it. He never need it, regardless if he needed it or not. It's a lot of dudes in baseball that really didn't need steroids for real, but they took the shit to gain more glory. To gain more glory. So, yeah, I don't care what Mike, he had a thick neck at 13. His ass was on that shit, too. All them boys was doping up. All of them. All of them was doing it, man. These trainers knew what the fuck was going on, man. All they, and, and I'm telling you, at that time period, before them drug testing and them competitive sports like that, it was steroid usage in all of them sports like that, but definitely boxing. Definitely boxing. And look, Roy Jones is looked at and admired and, and revered. And Roy popped dirty. So you just imagine what was going on with these other, all these other all-time greats. It wasn't, it wasn't, a, it, it, I'm telling you, all around they was doing it. So it pretty much was an even playing field. Because everybody was on, all them, I don't care, man. <laughs> all them dudes, them dudes on there, with all them was doping. They was doing all the stuff that they could in order to be better than the next man. I don't care if it was cream they was putting on them, or whether they was injecting themselves with stuff, whether they were taking some pills and all type of supplements, they was doing all of it. Because it was just a clamor to be the best, especially the heavyweight title. Being a heavyweight champion of the world was bigger than being a president. Everybody wanted to gain that title and never and never lose it. Shit, especially Mike Tyson get out of jail. He need that boost. He need that shit on him, man, to get them dudes up out of there to reclaim his glory. You don't think he was popping that? He was doing that stuff then? Especially out of jail. What? Shit, before jail. I don't care. Before jail, they were putting that shit in. Come on, Mike. Make this mug a killing machine. He was already tough as nails. Kid Dynamite was real shit. I'm not denying that. But it's just like they think, oh, he Vanda, he was on the steroids. This is why he lost. And then one of just no up swearing down. Mike was just such a good guy. He would never do that. What are you talking about the same dude that told dude he want to eat his children? Told a female reporter, don't interview me unless you want to fornicate, cause you know. <laughs> Mike was just a wild, unhinged ass motherfucker. He wanted, he was, you know that mug was on that stuff, man. I don't care. That's why he was so fucking mad all the time. Always just <laughs> Yeah, Roy Rage had him going crazy too. Ready to just, uh, some people might argue it was pain from his childhood and losing Customato. You can argue that for sure. Yeah, but when he started gaining weight and all that, he started being more happier. But I'm going to tell you right now, when that fight, he just fought with Roy Jones. Mike on that shit, right? When he fought with Roy Jones, he was on that shit. I don't care what you're talking about. Mike looking like that at that age, it ain't just no genetics. Mike was on that shit. He was on some of that shit too. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them dudes is older. They be on that shit, too. Shannon on that shit, too. Shannon Shaw. <laughs> Shannon on that shit, too. I, I don't care what nobody say. But, you know, um, yeah, man. Yeah, I, I just, every time, man, Mike Tyson fanatics, they got to, they can't accept Mike. Got, he got stopped, man. Got his bell rung. And I promise you, when, when them same dudes, when Deontay Wilder lost against Tyson Fury, they was all, the Deontay Wilder fans can't accept that Wilder lost. They can't accept that Wilder just got beat. All of that, right? But the same ones will make every excuse in the book for Mike Tyson. All the time. They always, they are them same people. Wilder just got beat and people can't accept it. They can't accept it because the white guy beat the black guy. Well, you can't accept that the church going dude that talked about Jesus that was not, he didn't have the swagger, he didn't have the charisma, he didn't have the menacing look, he didn't have that menacing aura like Mike Tyson, the, the guy that people la labeled a goody two shoes, beat the brolic menacing bully. Y'all mad that that shit happened. You can't accept it. 
Now people want and and Evander for being a, a church going dude, he was getting a lot of vagina, all right, because he had our kids in every state, right? But the dude that just always talked about his mama, talked about uh, God, talked about you know um, Jesus, talking about just all the good things that seemed like an upstanding dude. Y'all couldn't believe that he beat Mike Tyson. That's like Russell Wilson beating uh, Marshawn Lynch in a street fight. Boy, brothers, I'm going to tell you, brothers are going to be hurt, sick to their stomach, rolling around on the ground, throwing up. That's like Russell Wilson. No, better yet, Russell Wilson whooping Future's ass in a fight. Boy, Negroes going to be hollering and screaming. All the dudes in the trap going to be crying and going to be sick, trying to come up with all type of jokes to make the women mad, clowning Russell Wilson any way they can because they can't believe he got his ass whooped by the dude that's going to church and sing about, and talk about God and his clear, his clean cut and what... And he is in the ilk of what people deem a square. Y'all can't accept that the hood, brolic, vicious Mike Tyson got whooped by the dude that just a good, all around good guy. That's it, man. Y'all believed in Mike Tyson, what he was. And shit, he faced a dude that was tougher. That's it. That's all. Machiavelli Mills TV. I'm out. Peace.